my guy just demonstrated the power of belief, the power of your mind. Now, another person, they said that my video about I would never call on Jesus and I never called on Jesus. My father never called on Jesus. That in my times of distress, I never called on Jesus. And the positive things that I wanted to happen manifested in my life that I was just proving the Bible to be correct. I responded to them by saying that anybody from any religion can claim the same thing. And the more I scrolled down the comments, what did I see? I saw my guy here. He had seven strokes in four days. Never called on Jesus, but he called on Yah. Now, I'm not sure if he's Rastafari or if he is Hebrew Israelite. I don't know. Only because he used the term Yah. You got, it might be one of those two. But the point is, he had seven strokes in four days and now he's 100% and he never called on Jesus, he called on Yah. It's the same way a Buddhist person can say that, well, I'm proving Buddha and the four and the eight, is the four path, fourfold pathway or the eightfold pathway? I think it's the fourfold with eight parts. I'm not sure exactly right now. But that because I've put out so much good karma, that because I've helped so many people and I help people without looking for returns, and some people I help, I do look for a return. I believe in investing and getting my, my return on my investment. But that I put out so much good karma that that is why the universe seems to always give to me. But I would say that the universe gives to me simply because I expect it to give to me. I expect it to do, the, do what I have in my mind, in my subconscious and in my conscious mind that I have determined I'm going to have without a shadow of doubt. Many of you don't receive what it is that you desire to receive, no matter whose name you're calling on, because you have a level of doubt in your mind, or you allow other people around you who put doubt in your mind, and that's why you don't manifest what you desire to manifest. Or you're sitting there talking about, I'm wanting, you pray and you're begging, oh, I, I want to be this, and I want that, and I want, and I want, and I want. Wanting always has a sense of lacking. You can never get anything you want because your want has lacking. It is desire supported by definiteness of purpose and action that brings you what you desire to truly have. What you constantly think about, what's constantly on your mind, what you have decided is how your life is just going to be. That is what it demonstrates. I could believe in the spaghetti monster on Saturn is going to be my deity. And if I believe it strong enough, whatever it is that I ask for in the spaghetti monster name is what I will receive. Because it all comes to the power of your mind. But you continuously let that negativity destroy yours.